Bimbos, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited about today's video. I am going to be doing a swatching first impression and review of the Lip Sense products. So these are like a company I think similar to Arbon. They kind of throw the parties in a way. I don't know if you can purchase them in store. I think you actually have to go through a consultant. So one of my beautiful Snap family members, Leanne, hello, uh, contacted me and asked if she could send me some of her products and I said yes I'd love to because I've actually seen these products around for a while, haven't really tried them out, didn't really know that much about them and just wanted to do another lip swatching video of a different brand for you guys. So she's been kind enough to send me three products and I'm going to be doing a run through of the packaging, the feel, my first impression and just a little bit of a rundown of the company as well. So she actually was really kind to send like this massive letter to me which yes I accidentally ripped when I opened it and then Bill sat on it and I tried to pull it up out from under him and it ripped even more so hmm. Thank you so much Leanne like it, this is so much this just means so much to me. As well guys, if you have anything that you want to send me, I do have a PO box now, which I'll link in the description box below. So I'm gonna read you guys a little bit about this company. She sent me a whole print off. They are, of course, cruelty free. They are vegan, there is no lead, no wax, and they're environmentally friendly. They only use naturally reoccurring ingredients. All products formulated are in compliance with the FDA regulation. They're also all made in the USA. This is basically what the packaging looks like they say they don't have individual box packaging to save on trees and to help the environment it basically looks like this it is a clear I think perspex container so you can see what the color is it says the color on the bottom this one is blue red it says lip sense by sense gents long lasting liquid lipstick so it has a safety seal which when you open it you obviously break the seal. It has a doe foot applicator which is a stiff applicator. There's no kind of flexibility in it. it. Smells freaking amazing. The other products are these two. So you have the gloss which is just in a clear bottle like that and then there is this oops remover. So I'm pretty sure this is what you use to remove it. I'm not sure if you can remove it in any other way or if you just have to use that. I will probably try using coconut oil and this as well to remove it. Bread application tip, evenly from one corner to the other. Do not swipe back and forth. Do not touch your lips together. Let dry for five seconds. Do this two more times. So it says three layers are best. And then you apply the gloss over the top. So this is the gorgeous shade right here. Um, it has a, a safety seal, so I'm just gonna break the safety seal. This is what it looks like. Oh, it looks quite liquidy. So I'm going to apply this. I'll try my best not to swipe it back and forth. <laughs> Ooh. Smells really good. Smells like fresh cut fruit. Is that weird? But it, it, it does. <laughs> it smells like I'm on a tropical island eating fruit. It does have like this real watery kind of consistency. It did shake, say shake it really, really well before use, which I have done, but let's give it another shake just in case. Almost seems like this is like a tinting product in a way. Like it is so, so pigmented already and it feels like it, it's like gonna stain, like a staining product in a good way though, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna let that dry and then do two more applications, but even just this one application, you can see like, hi. <laughs> Second coat. It's giving my lips like almost a tingling sensation. I don't know if that's just me. So let that dry. I love the color too. Oh, it's so pretty. Last application. And a little goes a long way on the brush. Like you don't actually need that much product. All right, I'm gonna let it dry. It feels like it's sticking a little bit in the outer corners of my lips. I'll just let it dry like this, hey? <laughs> and then it says, apply lip sense gloss of choice. Press lips together and enjoy long lasting coverage. So I'll put this gloss over the top, moisturizing gloss. Gloss may be worn alone or applied after lip sense to improve the longevity or the long lasting lip color. So I'm gonna apply this over the top. Oh, 
it's nice it's got like a real kind of thick consistency and look at that I was expecting that nozzle to actually go red you know by applying it over the top but it's not red hold on oh my gosh I'm like pressing my top lip look at that Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh look pressing it still feels a little bit sticky to the touch but there is no transfer oh my gosh that is freaking amazing I love the look of red glossy lips as well but it never lasts and I feel like it gets all over my teeth but this isn't it feels so nice it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel drying at all and like look at that gloss let me see if it like gets some of the red off with the gloss you know what I mean no like normally when I put a lip gloss over the top of like a velveteen or something like that I go like that and my cut like the color comes off you know it's, it's not coming off oh my gosh that is freaking amazing yeah I am honestly so 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 impressed with this brand I can't believe this is the first time I've actually tried it because this is amazing like I think this red kicks ass over every other liquid matte red lipstick the red velvet by velveteen was my all-time favorite but this honestly is amazing like I just there's no transfer like I am going to town rubbing my lips nothing nothing on my finger <laughs> like, how how is that possible so I'm actually about to go out for lunch with my mum I'm gonna do an eating test which I don't normally do but I want to see if this holds up while I eat and yeah um we'll go from there so I am so 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 excited yeah <laughs> okay rainbows so it has been three hours or oh, bit more probably actually <laughs> I've had lunch I've had a coffee I've had a salad with like a creamy sauce and this is the outcome only really a little bit has come off here and maybe just a tiny bit in this corner and the rest of it is still pretty much on there the gloss obviously is all gone but yeah the rest of it still pretty much on there so I am extremely impressed with this lipstick I'd love to try out some other colors and definitely make this more of a series with the lip swatching because I am just so impressed I'm going to try and remove it now I'm gonna do like coconut oil versus the remover that it came with and see what a difference it makes and yeah we'll we'll go from there all right I have coconut oil here I'm going to get a bit I'm gonna do this on my bottom lip I think coconut oil might have made its match because even on my fingers it's not coming off <laughs> it's not coming off with coconut oil <gasps> this is a first I'll use the remover so it says oops remover gently rub onto lips and wipe clean it's kind of got like a stiff consistency to it like oh it's still on there I can see it's kind of starting to flake it really makes it really really quite dry and there's a few little flakes of it on the applicator, but that's okay. Okay, it's starting to come off more now. It kind of is coming off in little flakes. And there's like no staining really on my own natural lips either, which is pretty cool. All right, so all off all clean yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in again thank you so so much to Leanne for sending this to me it's amazing you made my day honestly you did so thank you so much definitely give this video a thumbs up if there's any other cruelty free lip products that you would like me to do a lip swatching video on definitely let me know post a comment below um, also check out the playlist that this video is in I've done quite a few of these videos already so yeah love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!